Hello! I just came back from work and I've got to say something to you guys. You, you are unique. You're different. You're, well, a little bit challenged and people sometimes don't really understand why. But still, you're a super... Blah! Crash the moment there. You go vlogging. But still, you're a superhero. Am I right? Because I'm reading whoop, this book. Save the cat. Pretty interesting book about uh, movies and the stories in movies uh, and how they work, how the uh, system behind the, the story in a movie works and why it is the way it is. And the fact that a lot of movies, at least the chapter where I'm in right now is, uh, is about that, why the uh, story in a lot of movies is very similar. Um, uh, Blake Snyder, the writer of the book, uh, shows us a couple of, uh, of, of story types that um, almost every story, maybe even every story, can fit into, like the superhero, uh, the dude with a problem, uh, the monster story, um, the, the haunted house, the monster monster house, um, all those kinds of stories. That if you look into them, if you look into the structure of the story, every film, every every good film, every good book uh, has it. And if they don't follow those guidelines, then you probably can fit them into a genre as well. But they won't really be too successful. Anyway, um. Back home, having a good time. Why do I still got that sheep from Eastern there? Because it's from chocolate and it's looking cute. Okay. Good reason. Anyway, hello, was what I was actually going to say. Hi, lad. Good evening. Yep, it's filming. I'm uh, watching Doctor Who and I'm almost to the end of episode, of episode one, of season one actually. Um, I started yesterday night uh, finishing up season one probably this night but uh, now first I'm um, meeting some mirror in a bar here you're uh, near and uh, it's gonna be a relaxed night guys good morning so I'm in the park look pond park me gonna enjoy the Sun a little bit a good book by John Green, looking for Alaska or het grote misschien, uh, and just do nothing. I slept in today, well, it's been some time ago, so it felt good, but uh, today is a relaxed day, except for tonight, then I'll have to work, but still, it's a good day. I freaking god. Really? Okay, let's let's do what I'm on the phone on the phone. Um yeah, this way it doesn't look so crazy for the people around me. Um I'm sitting here and enjoying the sun and suddenly there comes this guy from well the bicycle path behind there and he walks up here and he sit down literally about one and a half meters away from me to the right your left and uh, <laughs> I might do this more often it looks more natural and uh, anyway a couple of ladies were sitting down there and uh, as soon as they left he walked up to me and he said oh is that a nice book you're reading and I said yeah <laughs> And he wasn't just, I mean, it's, 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 oh, it's, it's probably a nice guy, but he was obviously gay. He was wearing a purse and he was, um, well, kind of hitting on me. <laughs> oh, that's the last time I'm going to sit in the park by myself, <laughs> enjoying the sun. Well, anyway, um, that's about it. Bah. Why do all these crazy things always happen to me? Always. Never a normal day. But then again, that's quite the fun of life, isn't it? Hey, don't get me wrong. I don't hate gays, I love them. Some of my best friends are gay. But uh, this guy just was a little bit too annoying. 
That's about it. Good night, sleep well, sleep nice, sleep tight, and no naughty dreams.